On this week of Huddle Up, we are going to be interviewing Coach Carlton, Miley, and Mara about their state victories in this season. What were the emotions like after winning the state championship? Uh, just a lot of excitement. Um, you know, going to the state tournament, it's an emotional week going uh, game by game. First one, you know, you're just up, really happy about uh, getting that first win for, for UTAN and, and uh, state girls basketball history. And you go into a uh, Saunders County matchup with Newman and uh, it's you know, we come from behind in the fourth quarter. That was a very emotional game, just watching the girls uh, fight and claw to get back into it. And um, to see them succeed in that one, that was very, very emotional, very happy uh, for them to get to the state championship. And then uh, the championship was just icing on the cake. Um, really happy. Um, I think the best part of watching or seeing that all unfold is just seeing the reactions of the girls and, and seeing them get to experience that. You were a very dominant scorer at the state tournament. How did you find your groove in such an intense environment? Stay calm and do what I know how to do. Kind of create for my teammates a little bit, get downhill, shoot open shots from pin and kicks and in rhythm on balance. In the Newman game, you faced a lot of adversity, not having some calls go your way, getting two fouls on you early. How did you overcome that and really turn it up in the fourth quarter? Um, I had to go back to the basics. Uh, rebounding was a big one, and uh, finishing at the rim instead of shooting threes or jump shots. Um, I was able to get an and one and a rebound put back, and that kind of fueled my fire. Um, what was it like breaking 1,000 points in a state championship game? It was exciting, just having like the excitement of the student body and our team and the crowd. Like, it was something I couldn't, I dreamed of, and it happened. So, especially at a state game. How does it feel ending your last high school season with the state championship? Couldn't have gone any other way. Ending, have playing your last game for a championship and becoming state champs is something that everyone dreams of, and doing it your senior year is something even more memorable. This was UTAN's first time winning in the state tournament. How did it feel to be a part of the team that accomplished this? I mean, we made history. So going down in history and just showing like everyone that we can do it and showing the youth that it's possible, it's enjoyable, fun to see that you can accomplish your goals and you can be the first one to do it. Now that we have covered the girls basketball state championship, we will cover the road to Warner Park with the baseball boys. What are your goals for this season? Um, the team goals are just to be back at Warner and give ourselves a chance at the state championship. Okay. Even though the baseball boys are from different schools, how has the bond formed that you have with them over the last four years? Um, so it's been really easy to just connect with them and they're, they're all great people. So there's no like Ashland kids or UTAN kids. We're all just like one Platt Valley team. So it's been pretty easy. Knowing you will play an important role on the team this year, what do you expect from you and the team this season? Uh, we definitely want to make it back to the state tournament uh, and just win a couple games there, maybe win it all, just and build off of last year. You guys fell short at the state tournament this year. Do you guys expect to go further this year? Yes, uh, we do. We have a lot of seniors returning, a lot of key role players pitching. We're doing great. We just got a, we just got off to a rough start and. Uh, looking to do better. Thank you for watching this week's video of Huddle Up.